is influencing me. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody tell me I don't look good. Oh my god, I look like a sack of potatoes right now. Oh, can I start with chef's gonna fit together for what's good? What's good? What's good, girl? What's good? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you are here for today's video I'm gonna be doing well I got the idea from only bells and she did a video on recreating influencers outfits from stuff she already had in her wardrobe basically so yeah I thought it was a really good idea because I feel like influencers are always promoting clothes always doing hauls but um, I think it's like important to know that you can create these outfits these outfits that they've made from stuff you already have in your wardrobe. You probably already have most of the stuff in a different way that they are showing you. So, you know, it's just a way to be a bit more sustainable rather than going out and buying the pieces, thinking about how you can switch it up a little bit when you like an idea and, um, you know, changing it up with stuff you already have. So yeah, I really just liked the idea that she had and I thought it was really good. So I thought I would try and do my version of it of like kind of influencers who I the styles of influencers who I like and hopefully you guys like because you're on this video. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below which comment down below which outfit I recreated the best. <laughs> but um yeah, so hopefully you like this video and let's go. So the first outfit, sorry, I'm gonna be using my phone because I've got all the pictures on here of the different outfits I'm gonna be recreating today. But the first Influencer who I'm gonna do a recreation of their outfit of is Molly May. I love her style Her style is chef's kiss. So this outfit is a little bit more on the simpler side I will put a picture probably here for you since I'm kind of a more of this way Yeah, so the picture be here or here for you um, of the outfit. It's a lot more on the simpler side It's all black. I really love it. Me and uh, me all black outfits. Yes. 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 So simple but effective, you know? She's got a lot of designer bags. I do not have designer bags. So we'll be doing my version and um, yeah, her hair is like up and stuff. Right, so I'm gonna go and get the items. So first of all, the black leather jacket. I do have one. I have this one basically. This is my, what I'm gonna be wearing. So this is my, my very, worn <laughs> black leather blazer that I have. I got this one from a charity shop. It's actually from M&S, yeah, which is amazing, but I love it. So I'm gonna be using this. Then for the black leather trousers, I have this one from Topshop. They, they still have these in actually. I think they bought them back for autumn. So if you are looking to buy something um, from this look, then they do have these. These are my favorite trousers also. These are amazing. Like. These are extremely worn, just like my leather jacket. But yeah, so these are like black leather leggings more so. Hers are kind of like baggy-ish looking, but we're gonna go with leggings today. I think it's gonna be more of a fitted look than her one. And then for the hoodie, I've just got this nice hoodie here. And then for the bag, I actually do have my Radley bag, which I'm gonna be using for the look. So uh, yeah, this is like, kind of designer not as up there as her one i don't think but she had a um, balenciaga bag and she also had a louis vuitton duffel bag with her too she was really flexing on the outfit she was like flexing on my oh um so yeah i'm gonna be using my radley one it's probably the closest to the designer we have and also to the style that she had so i'm gonna go put all the pieces on right now and i'll get back to you and see how it looks Right, so this is my little Molly May recreation. Please excuse how big my bag is. Um, honestly, I probably would wear it just like, I probably wouldn't wear it across my body. But also, if I was, I would um, make it a little bit shorter, just like there or something, because but if I do that, then I have to fiddle with all of this, and I'm not, so we're just doing it like this. So yeah, I really like this look, of course, black on black, what more can you say, really? Um, I have added a few little jewelries. I saw that she had like some little dainty rings with her and I couldn't really tell what her earrings were but I've got these ones in which all together looks like this. I wish this hoodie was a bit bigger if I'm being honest but um, yeah. Do you know what? I might take this. 
that looks a bit cuter right this looks a bit better than a big bulge hanging in there so this with the little leather trousers that i have on too you can't really see them properly but yeah nothing too crazy going on here so yeah this bag definitely looks look better on the side or well, even if i was to just carry it a bit like this you know that would look cute too i think yeah, I've even done my hair similar to how she's got it. So I've got like some pieces out of the front and then I've just put it in a little bun. Which just makes it very casual, you know. She's a very casual girl today. But um, yeah, so that's the Molly May look. That's how you get the Molly May look. I'm joking. So that's her, my recreation of her look. So let's go on to the next outfit so for our second influencer i've got an outfit from amanda Steele. i'll put her picture here of her in the outfit again an influencer with how i really love her style so amanda still definitely i think we have very similar styles so i had to recreate something from her um the shoes and the like bottom part of the outfit i'm not going to show you just because i feel like I'll be here for a very long time if I end up putting shoes on with every outfit and I'm kind of lazy. Apologies, but here we are. For the skirt, I have got a different color. Hers was more like golden, <laughs> but mine's pink. So like a pink um, leopard print midi skirt. Uh, I think this will this will go with the white and the black anyway, so that's fine. This one's from Nasty Girl, I think like a year or two ago, so there's that when it was like everyone was raving over leopard print skirts i still got mine then for the jumper this one's from asos it's like a very slouchy jumper and it's got like a cross knit cross thingy at the back very opened at the back so i will be able to just like slouch it off my shoulder and stuff and then also for the tank top i have this white one here which i've been loving this one is from primark it was super cheap and it looks amazing just saying tank tops are amazing especially just white ones oh my god um yeah she didn't have any bag or anything so that's kind of like what i'm gonna go with and yeah let's just go and show you the outfit that i created hello 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 so i'm in the next outfit now i have literally i'm putting it off the shoulder a little bit I have tucked it in because in the image she's like lying down and it's all that's kind of cute and stuff but if I just take it out yeah we don't look cute so I am gonna just tuck it in because you know you gotta style these outfits guys you can't just expect it to look cute on you like actually put some work in I'm checking so very very simple but also effective so I do love it it's cute I need to wear the skirt more often, but I just don't go places where I could wear the skirt and be acceptable. Why does it matter if I'm accepted or not? I just need to accept myself. Better shot of the outfit. Looks like this. There's not much to say about it. She wasn't wearing any jewelry that I could see, so I haven't added any. It's just very, very plain, very simple, super cute, autumnal look. Right, so the next outfit I have is from a bit of a smaller, I would still call him an influencer because he's influencing me, um, a bit of a smaller one and his name is Samuel Graham, I just recently followed him because his style is amazing. I wanted to add some male influencers in this video because I thought, you know, a lot of people are inspired by male fashion as well as feminine fashion so I think it'll be nice to add a bit of a mixture. So I'm going to be styling this outfit here, um, he's got like black smart trousers on i've really been loving the smart trouser look i think it just looks so nice he's got like a little cardigan on with I'm not really sure what print that is oh like a checkered print actually he's going for like a white and black theme yeah i'm gonna have to switch it up a little bit just because i don't have all of those things and i want to make it a bit more my style also so yeah for the black trousers i do have I have these these like smart black trousers they're really long and oversized and high-waisted also so I think these will really just go I've also got the cardigan similar style this is actually navy so I'm not sure how black and navy is there a thing that black and navy doesn't go together but for me I think it looks cute but yeah you're probably sick of seeing this <laughs> you're gonna be sick of seeing this cardigan but this cardigan is from Brandy Melville um, 
And yeah, I'm gonna be wearing it a lot during this this season. And then for the top, we have got, I'm gonna go for this top here as his white underneath top, just cause I don't think I have a, a, a completely plain white top. And also I think adding just a little bit of something something underneath will make it a bit more less smart and add a bit more casual into it you know so yeah i'm gonna be wearing this one this one has like a little super mario print on and this is from uniqlo and then also he's got a black beanie on it's like a short beanie i don't have no actually i do have a black beanie but instead of doing that hopefully this looks okay i'm gonna be using this um beret this black beret that i have because i think it will have more of a similar effect and it will go really well with the outfit the blue's kind of throwing me off now I'm thinking about it. But it's fine. We're gonna do <laughs> we're, we're flying with it. Okay. Also he was had a like a little side bag with him, like a little black side bag. So I'm just gonna be using my black um bum bag that I'll just wear on the shoulder or something. So I'll be wearing that with it. And then we've got some necklaces and stuff, and we'll be accessorizing, but I'll show you that when I'm actually in the outfit. So let's just get straight into that outfit. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody tell me I done a good. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Anyway, so next outfit. Looking like this. Um, how do I feel about it? Thanks for asking. Uh, I'm not really sure to be honest. I don't know if it's the hat. We're just gonna show you with the hat. I'm gonna show you without the hat, and you let me know. Just let me know down below. Rhyming again, oh my god, do you know something's going wrong when I start rhyming? Right, so I've got the Mario shirt on, I do like it with the shirt. Um, if this was black, I think it would really look nice, but it's looking a little bit more mismatched than I would probably like it to. Let's see if I can make this a little bit shorter actually. Right, that looks cuter I think. <laughs> How did I say that before I even put it on? Okay, so I've got my bum bag on as a little bag, little side bag. Um, actually, do you know what? I think this would look nicer if it was like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that looks nicer, you know. And that's how I'm going to do it anyway. So, yeah, we've got the trousers on. I do love me some smart trousers, you know. I don't know. I think it is nice. I think it's different. I don't know if it's something I would literally, like, go on and put on and wear. Like, I probably wouldn't reach for this if I was going up to meet my friends or something. But it's something I would say was cute though. Out of my comfort zone. Actually not out of my comfort zone. I don't think any style is out of my comfort zone. But I do think it looks nice. Like I think if I wore this, people would be like, oh wow, she's really, she's really um, dressed up today. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember him wearing too much jewelry and stuff. So I have just left on my gold necklace. He had like a silver one on. But I don't have silver jewelry. So here we go, gold necklace. Do you know what? I don't think it is bad. I really don't. I think it's just different for me. And I kind of do like the hat now, actually. I kind of feel like I'm in party. Oh, let's go to party! Whoa! I've been watching some Emily in Paris. Very cringeworthy, but. Also very addictive. What is it with us with cringe and addiction? Please someone do a scientific topic on, study on that. So for the next influencer we have, I actually don't know her name, but her Instagram name is What's Good. Obviously I'm gonna put all the Instagram names on the screen so that you can go follow these people if you like their style. And um, as well as mine, follow me too. <laughs> she has got a dark, a dark blue vintage wash jeans um they're like very like hers look super baggy i only have mum jeans and then she's got a white tank top again really loving that look she's got a blazer i feel like blazers are very in for autumn blazers are just really good to invest in so yes i do have something very similar to that and then she's got a cap sunglasses and a brown bag she's kind of like tied in those like autumn-y brown oranges colors within her outfit so we're gonna go ahead and try and see what i've got so for the bottoms i do have these 
dark wash denim jeans. These are from Topshop. Um, they're the mum jeans. Then I've got the white tank top again. So she has a brown belt. I don't have any brown belts, but I do remember I have this like red belt. So this is pretty thick. So I don't know if it will fit in the belt loops, but I'm going to try and see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I have this belt. It's a little bit off in color, but hers is, she kind of like did a tonal kind of thing. So I think this will look good in terms of like the autumn colors and stuff like that. Then um, as her hat, I don't, I don't know why I didn't bring my caps with me to uni, but apparently I decided not to, but now I need them. So interesting. So I'm going to use this beanie instead. It's like a very similar color to the, to like the, bag that she was wearing to keep in terms of the tones i'm using this fur bag we have lots of different textures going on i kind of like it actually and then for the jacket the blazer i've got this one from zara which is my absolute favorite blazer ever and it's got like these really this really nice checkered print on it it's super nice autumnal colors in it it's so structured and beautiful but yeah i'm going to be pairing this with all the outfit and hopefully it's all blends together nicely so we're gonna go and see what that looks like all right all right here is the look i feel like we're a little bit mismatched i think it's the hat that's literally throwing me off a little bit i'm not sure if i'm in love with the look with the hat i'll probably show you without the hat in just a moment but whilst we just go through the look anyway the belt yeah did not fit so it's just like placed on top but i think it looks fine um the jacket, I do like it. I like it in like a weird way, but I also kind of don't like it that much. Like something's just a little bit off, I think. I don't know if it's the hat or what, but um, yeah. So this is what I've put together. I have gone with some rings because she's very like into her jewelry. So I've got, oh, I forgot a necklace. Right, so I don't know if we made a massive difference or not, but we've put the necklace on now. And we've got the rings on. I've gone with some gold hoops. I think it looks cute with the bag and everything. I just don't know. Maybe it's the belt, the color of the belt that's throwing me off just a little bit. But um, yeah, I really do. I'm enjoying this video so much because it's making me wear outfits and put together items I would just never put together, to be honest. But I think it's doing something. I'm not sure what, but it is something. With the jeans. Maybe it's the dark jeans. I don't know if I'd wear dark jeans like this. I'm not sure. I don't know, but it's the look. For our fifth outfit I think we're on, um, I've got an outfit from, I think her name is Maria Beltry. Something like that. But her Instagram name is Loose Unicorns. So obviously it will be linked on the screen. Um, yeah, so she has got like this vintage wash denim jeans on. It's a very autumnal outfit, so I wanted to include it in this. Sorry, not autumnal, more so like a winter outfit with a number of layers that I can see she's got on. So first of all, I can see she's got that cheetah print bag. So I'm going with this black and white cow print bag from Topshop. And then for the jeans, I've got these blue vintage wash jeans. I think these are from ASOS. But yeah, this will really go with the outfit. I think this is the most closest wash jeans I have. Then for the jumper, I do have a gray hoodie. So that's perfect. I have this gray hoodie here. Then I also have a white mock neck. It's not a full turtleneck, but it does have like a you see that has like a high neck to it so i'm gonna be wearing this underneath the hoodie and then for the jacket the coat that she has i've got this super oversized kind of like gray taupe colored um coat from depop don't know if you can see that right now this brand this is a bit more longer than hers actually it's a lot longer than hers um but i think it will be completely fine yeah, when I said winter outfit, I really meant winter outfit. I am so hot in this outfit. I can't wait to take it off. Oh my god. Okay. I don't even think I put on the jewelry because honestly, I am going to die in a moment. But this is a look. I forgot to tell you. Oh my god, you can see this. <laughs> it's a massive bulge here. Basically, I don't have a bra on to tuck it in. But hers is kind of like cropped a little. So we're doing this weird bulgy thing right now. Um, 
yeah i forgot to show you in the picture she had like a this belt on and i do have a belt that's similar so there we go i put it on oh my god i look like a sack of potatoes right now this is a very i think she looked like she was in new york so i understand her dress sense then because this would keep you so warm yeah oh my god look at this <laughs> oh my gosh i really like the way this bag looks with this outfit actually um this is something i would wear to be honest i don't know if it's something i would wear this season before as in like i don't think it's very the most on trend for this season but i think i did choose like an old older photo so that makes sense yeah, oh my god i can't i can't next outfit next outfit please please next outfit so the fifth no the sixth and final outfit we have is from ricky thompson in his little coach collab i don't have anything from coach so we're gonna be making up basically he has like a cord in the shirt and the trousers it's like this pinstripe he's got like a blazer on oh i love this look i really do it's very different but also executed well and he's got like a cutesy jumper underneath i don't have anything like that so we're gonna be making it up as we go along these trousers which are pinstripe they are like a cream they're not a white and then i also have i didn't have like a jumper that was like a super different color but it would also still match because his was like a yellow like a very pale yellow color so i'm just gonna wear this blue jumper that i have from brandy melville because i think it will go with the top the most i don't like that it's not um it's a bit flowy at the bottom so we're gonna have to see how that looks yeah so i feel like this last stuff is a bit more experimental so yes and then finally i have the blazer i do have like a kind of nudie color blazer color is this a beige i said a beige blazer i'll just be pairing this with everything and praying to the great beyond that it looks decent for the bag i don't quite know what i'm gonna go for yet i have like some that bags was his bag brown or black oh it was black okay maybe i'll go for this black saddle bag oh yeah that kind of works doesn't it so maybe i'll go for that and it makes it a little bit more feminine also Okay, what the hell guys, I genuinely love this outfit. Like this is something I would have never thought to put together, but it kind of works. Like I kind of feel like I'm either about to bet on some horses or just spend the day, you know, with like a really posh country guy from Made in Chelsea, you know? So it's a really versatile outfit. <laughs> but honestly, I don't know what, but I did something. I did something, like look at this. You can't tell me this doesn't look good. No, I'm gassed, guys. Anyway, let me just run through the whole look with you, what I did. So yeah, I think the blue with the blue and these two kind of slightly go together. So it does all gel together quite well. The saddlebag, look at her in her, her glory. Definitely adds, we've got a bit of masculine, a bit of the feminine. Um, but yeah. Obviously, clothes have no gender, so really, she's just fabulous. He's got it um, all, like, out, so his shirt is out and stuff, but this shirt is very oversized, and these trousers are very oversized, so I thought it would just look a bit nicer if I tucked it in. Also, this tr these trousers have a really nice detail here, so I thought this would look a bit nicer tucked in like this. We went for some earrings also. So Ricky always wears like super dangly, dainty earrings. So he was wearing it in the picture. So I've got my ones from the brand I'll put on the screen and link down below, which I love. I love their earrings. Um, there we go. You can see a bit better, yeah? Look at it go in all of its amazing glory. I probably would have put a necklace with it, like a little dainty necklace, but I'm just following what he did, and yeah, you know, look at, it, look at this outfit, guys. So right, guys, that was the whole video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it brought you some entertainment. And again, thank you so much for sharing your energy with me today. Don't know what that was. I feel like I'm on a kids show today. Woo, woo. Okay, stop, stop, Kiki. Focus, 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 focus. Right. So, if you did like it, you know what to do. You know where to go, you know where to be, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!
bet you I was so out of focus this whole time, right? Right, who wants to tell me? Who's gonna tell me I was out of focus? Who? Who's gonna tell me? What was your wife? 